So today is Vlogmas Day 1. Hey, welcome to the suburbs. I'm Clarissa. vlogmas for 25 days so i have 25 planned christmas themed videos so so excited so excited guys before we start this is a clap hosted by myself and my friend annalisa from creative curious learning and living so this is going to be a huge vlogmas kickoff collab some of my youtube friends came together to kick off the vlogmas season see how they're kicking off their vlogmas and follow along through their journey but once you're done with this video don't forget to go down there and check all that out so all of the links are in my description if you are new don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video so i was not really sure if i should flip you guys around i might do that i'm not sure just because there's so much stuff and i just i don't know it's gonna be a lot for me to be like bringing everything over i'm gonna try to organize everything by age but i do have three kids this is going to be a part one um, because i'm planning on getting more stuff for them we are actually going to be doing a game room on top of what they're already getting so they're gonna be getting their individual normal christmas presents and then we are actually going to be creating a game room in our loft so we have a loft up in our um in our upstairs we ended up buying a sofa for that room which we're waiting for to come in the mail we are thinking of painting i'm not sure we're going to do it before or after um the christmas holiday and then we already got some stuff before the game room which i'm going to show you guys i'm trying to think i think we only got one thing but i have something else coming in the mail i don't know like i said enough of my rambling let me just jump in the video and show you guys what i got my kids this is where we're storing all of the kids christmas presents so here they all are to be honest i almost forgot what we got the kids <laughs> I mean, obviously, I know like some of the stuff we got. This. So we are storing all of this stuff here. I'm actually planning on wrapping the presents very quickly so that they're all wrapped up and no one's seeing anything. My kids are actually pretty good, though, about not looking at Christmas presents. So they're not really like the type to like want to peek and try to look for presents or anything. But still, I don't want them to open this door and then accidentally see their presents. I just want to show you guys this is where we are storing everything. So I ended up making myself some hot chocolate. So I'm actually going to be doing a hot cocoa bar. Um for day four i think yeah so day four you guys will see our hot cocoa set up so i'm super excited for that i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go through this stuff quickly just because i have so much stuff here and i don't there's just there's just a lot i don't know like i said i'm not gonna sit here and explain every single toy very like in detail i'm gonna try to go as quick as possible just because there's so much stuff and i just don't even know where to start i'm going to do my daughter first which is almost two and so I'll just say she's two, but she'll be two in January, but just to make it easy, my two-year-old, and then we're gonna do my five-year-old, and then we'll do my 10-year-old who's almost 11. So first thing we got is this Coco Melon um, bus. So my my daughter's favorite show is Coco Melon, and her favorite song is The Wheels on the Bus. So she is gonna be so excited to get this bus. Also, I do wanna mention that I will make sure to leave all of the links for everything I'm talking about in my description. Next, we got this Little People's Teacup. So I was so excited to find this. Actually, Beauty and the Beast was actually my favorite movie when I was a kid. So I'm super excited for her to open this tea set. Next, we got her this Little People's Barbie car. It comes with little two little people, and she she really loves little people um she always carries these little like characters around so i'm really excited for her to have her first little barbie car next she got this right here which is the mess free markers i know everyone's probably seen these before um i got her the peppa pig and this one has the markers and stickers and all the coloring sheets um she loves arts and crafts and thought this would be something just kind of cute and little to throw into her christmas gift so next we got her this coco melon plush so this was actually really well packaged so this came from amazon i thought it was cute how it came with the um just like the little the box was the way it looks i don't know it just looks cute because it's like for christmas and this is a plush um i'm pretty sure that it obviously gets bigger so it's probably like kind of smushed in there i'm really excited to give this to her so last thing we got her and again i'm gonna just throw this out there we are not done buying the kids gifts so this is the part one i'm gonna be doing a part two i think next friday i'll be doing the part two we are not done christmas shopping for the kids but but I wanted to get this video up just because if I waited, then I would never get this video up. But last thing that we got her in this video, at least, is this Minnie Mouse a little motorized car starting at 18 months. So I thought this was so cute. She's going to be so excited for this. Oh my gosh, guys. 
she's going to be so excited. So we are going to move on to my five-year-old who will be six in March. First thing for my um, five-year-old is this little Toy Story um, pet. I thought this was so cute. It's a little digital pet. I think I might put this though in his stocking. It's kind of smaller, so maybe... I don't know, we'll see. Might put this in a stocking. So next thing is these I Spy books. I'm gonna be honest though. I think these I Spy books are super cute, but I think they're a little too young for him. So I may end up getting him another set of these I Spy books and then give this to my daughter. And I will show you guys why I think this is a little too kind of babyish for him. But um, it's really cute though, don't get me wrong. As you can see, it might be a little a little on the baby side. It might he might be past it. I mean I mean it would be good for um, maybe for like phonics type of stuff, you know, with letter recognition and maybe kind of incorporating that. Like G is for gingerbread, you know, that might we could maybe do some phonics sort of stuff with it, but I just think this might be a little bit too babyish. So I might end up giving these two books to my daughter and then getting him a more advanced I Spy book. But I still think these are really, really cute. Next, I got him these Minecraft wall decals. So he loves Minecraft. So it's one of his favorite um, games to play. So I know he's gonna be so excited to be able to put these wall decal stickers on his wall. Next, I found this Minecraft Nerf gun and it is the sword from Minecraft and he is just gonna be so excited. I already know he's gonna love this. Like my kids like to play with Nerf guns. I do let them play with them um, to an extent. We are we do have some rules when it comes to it, but you know, just throwing that out there. So next we got him this Nerf gun target thing. But this is battery operated. I think it does come with this little Nerf gun, but he can use this with obviously all of his Nerf guns. And it's a little target so he can shoot. And it is, um, it does keep track. So it is battery operated and you can like keep track of your points and stuff like that. And Next, I got him this Minecraft slime toy. I don't know where you put it, but I think you put it somewhere up here or I don't know. But the slime like will come out of the mouth of this person, this like character, whatever their character is called. I don't know anything about Minecraft. But anyways, the slime goes through all these different compartments in here and it does come with the slime. So I know he's going to be so excited for this. I mean, what boy or even girl like doesn't like to play with slime like all kids love slime the last thing that i got him in this haul is this right here so i just want to throw this out there before i keep talking but we do let the kids believe in santa claus i guess that's what you'd say but um so this is actually going to be from santa claus i like to do kind of like unique stuff when it comes to santa claus like gifts so this one is the giant edition candy land so this is huge huge candy land like you would put it on the floor and it's like really really large um so it's not like i said i like to do really kind of unique stuff from santa like something like this where it's like a giant candy land giant candy um you know and just kind of make it like fun for them like that we do still celebrate christmas as christians and we do um we do talk about what the meaning of christmas why we celebrate christmas and things like that i just want to throw that out there but we also i don't feel like Santa Claus, I feel like I want my kids to have that that fun character to believe in during Christmas time. And I know some people that is controversial for some people um, when it comes to like Christian faith and Santa Claus and things like that. But I think that if you have your faith is strong enough and you understand the meaning behind it, I don't see the damage in believing in Santa Claus. But that's just me again throwing that out there this isn't I know a Christian talking whatever <laughs> but, um, but yeah so I got them this from Santa and I will be pairing some more stuff in here like some candy I like to do just like fun things from Santa Claus so we are going to move on to my 10 year old okay so his stuff is very expensive and I feel like it doesn't look like I got him as much as I got the other kids but his things are really expensive and there's other stuff that is coming in the mail that he wanted, like he's asking for a gaming chair. I don't have in this haul, but we are planning on getting him. Um, he wants some controllers for his VR. Um, he needs some Joy-Cons for his Nintendo Switch. So he has a lot of things, but it's just, like I said, his stuff is expensive. So I just wanna throw that out there. It doesn't look, this this haul may not look like a lot for him, but you know, you get, you get it. When they get older, things just get more expensive. So this is from Amazon and 
what's cool about this car it's obviously a, an electric car that drives around but instead of doing it with like a remote control like normally you have some type of like glove thing on your hand and you use your hand glove to like do this and tell it to go different places and it like you control it with your hand he's been asking for this so we decided to get this for him so i know he's going to be really excited when he opens this next thing we got him is the i spy um christmas book so i know he doesn't he's actually never had an i spy book so i thought he would like this he just to kind of do on like rainy days and plus it's christmas edition so he'll probably end up doing it just on christmas day next book we got him was this um 165 christmas jokes for kids i thought this was a really cute book um he loves jokes and stuff so i know he'll love going through this book and just kind of seeing what new jokes he can he can tell us this one's going to be kind of hard for me to show you guys because it's not you know open but th these wall decals are gaming decals so they have like game controllers as you can see there's the headphones and i think there's like a vr set and i don't know like i said there's just a bunch of gaming stuff so we're gonna have him put those in his room he's been wanting decorations for his room you know like pictures and just kind of like revamping his room up so i know he'll be excited to open this so the big gift that we are kind of getting him and um, this is going to kind of coincide with this gift right here. But first, let me explain this gift first. This is the Backbone controllers. You put your iPhone. I think it's also it's compatible with Android and iPhones. And you put the iPhone in here. And obviously, these are connected. And you can play different games. I think, I believe they have an app. So you can play their games. You can also play games from the Xbox. You have the Xbox gaming pass. And just, I don't know, all sorts of different things he can play. So pretty much, you're transforming your phone into a game console this was actually a bigger gift i believe it was on sale for black friday so he does have a phone but his phone is not activated um so he doesn't have any minutes on his phone or anything but because of the fact that he's about to be 11 i was going back and forth if i wanted to activate his phone or not because he uses his phone mostly like to watch netflix or play games and you know on wi-fi and whatever but it's not like i said it doesn't have like where he can call anybody um so we are going to activate the phone for christmas for him as one of his gifts so he's going to get this and then he's going to open his phone and he's going to be like well why are you giving me my phone because i already have my phone and then i'm going to be like well check your phone and then he's going to realize that it is activated and he's going to be able to text um and call but of course call like family and friends of course he is going to have you know i'm going to be monitoring um how he uses the phone and who he's texting and calling because of his age but again just throwing that out there this is why we got him this i'm going to throw this one in there but we did get him this cup head um gift card so this is just some like extension pack or something that he can use for um, the game that he has on his nintendo switch last thing we got him was this right here but i'm going to also show you guys the stuff that we got for the gaming room which is in the closet but let me show you this last thing but this is the giant sorry game so this one again is a giant edition and if, as you can tell right here that it is really big the cards are big so you can kind of get an idea just like the candy land that this is a really big game um so i know he's gonna be really really excited and this one is also going to be from santa claus and like i said i am going to be doing a part two to this and show you guys some more add-ons that we are adding on um, to their gifts along with more things that we are also getting for playroom slash game gaming room so the first thing is this right here like this is this is the coolest thing i when i saw this i was just like it was so cool i don't know i'll try to link this one um but i did get it at target and i've only seen it at target so i don't know if it's a target exclusive or what but this is a minecraft mini fridge i just thought this was the neatest thing i've never seen anything like this they also did have an xbox one so like it was like shaped as an xbox we decided to get the minecraft one but this is going to be for their gaming room we might wrap this stuff and then let them open it and then we'll set it up the day of christmas i don't know we haven't really decided but um this is going to be in their new game room they're gonna have a mini fridge i wanted to get a popcorn machine and kind of have like a little snack bar for them and yeah so like i said super cute thought this was the neatest thing but a last huge item this is a game table so this one has all of these it has pool it has the foosball table tennis and um air hockey so this has like 
all of these and you can like swap them out. So excited for this purchase. And again, this box is pretty, pretty big. This, this video doesn't even do it justice. I'm going to end the video here pretty quickly. So don't forget to check out my friend's channel, Annalisa at Creative Curious Learning and Living. Also, don't forget to check out that Vlogmas kickoff collab in my description with all of my YouTube friends who are kicking off the Vlogmas season. You will get so much Christmas inspired videos and inspiration. And also, I cannot wait to be sharing 25 Christmas themed videos with you guys all month long. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification so you can stay updated every time I post a video. Also, I will have all of the links for any of the products that I did talk about in my description. So you can always head over there and check all of that out. And with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2.